so last night Shane was able to get him on his hand and carry him to bed so I'm gonna try it this time and see if I can do it come on come on didn't work cook supper tonight it was a new recipe and it was supposed to taste like cracker barrels chicken grilled chicken it was nasty it was so nasty so we came to walmart and i got a quest chocolate chip cookie dough bar supper was delicious wasn't it I'd rather eat the ass hand out of a rag doll as a chew on what I chewed on tonight. Shane <laughs> Steve, that hurts my feelings. Well, at least you got something. I tried. Yeah, you tried. I, I tried marinated to, that son of a gun for 24 hours. He tried to kill me, didn't he peel the skin off the chicken? <laughs> I tried. Good morning, backcoat dancers. I have a big day ahead of me, and I thought I would take you along and tell you what all I got up my sleeve today because if you know me, I have something up my sleeve. I'm in here doing water. So I didn't clean up the barn stalls because over the past, I guess, two, three days with all that's happened with I'm a Survivor with Oki and Ernie, um, it was a wake up call for me because I have alpacas too. And so today, well, let me back up. I called my vet and I said, hey, how do I go about making sure my animals, cause I'm not just doing my alpacas, I'm doing every one of my animals. How do I ensure that they don't have <clears throat> parasites? And he said, well, Judy, we can do a fecal. We can run a fecal. So, I am going to have to go around and collect everybody's poop and a little um, cup and take it to the vet and let him run tests to see if there's parasites. So, I talked to the vet and I said, how often should I do this? And what he advised me is if parasites are present, we need to repeat it in 30 days, but we need to treat them. Well, when I know what parasite I'm dealing with, I know what medication to give these animals. So if there's no parasites present in the um, testing, well then every other month, I will be walking around waiting for pellets to be dropped or piles of poop to be dropped. And then I'm gonna go around with a little scooper and scoop the poop every other month and take it to my vet so that I can ensure the safety of my animals. When it comes to alpacas, they're a different breed. You have to stay on top of your game. So I've learned through having alpacas that you treat them with ivermectin, an injection, not through, not oral, orally, you treat them once a month with ivermectin. The reason is because alpacas M worm is what it's called is deadly to alpacas. And so um, M worm from my understanding is trans it's when deer drop poop, deer get it. And so if deer get in your pasture and poop, and then your alpacas go and graze in the pasture on grass, then they ingest that worm. And that worm can go to the brain if it's not treated fast enough. And not all the time, you know that your alpacas had this because they don't show sign of weakness because they're a herd animal. Herd animals, just like chickens, chickens don't show sign of weakness until it's almost too late. So you have to really know your animals and be on top of your game when treating them. Well, a lot of times I'm ridiculed by having a dry lot. 
sometimes really ugly people <laughs> will say things like, your poor animals, they don't have grass to graze on. And probably the ideal situation is for me to have grass. That would be ideal for animals to graze on grass because number one, it would cost me a lot less money to feed them. Because what I have to do having a dry lot is I have to provide hay for them year round. Okay, so a roll of hay costs about $55. They go through one a week. Oh, Rhino. Also, not only do they graze on hay all day, but I also feed grain. I feed grain every day because they don't have grass to graze on. The good thing about having no grass is I don't have to worry about inworm because my animals are not eating with grass where there's other feces on. So they always eat clean majority of the time. You do see her eating off the ground, but there's no poop around that. So I am fortunate to have a dry lot. There is pros and cons to having a dry lot. But for me personally, I am very fortunate that I have not had to deal with sicknesses with my large animals because I'm on a dry lot. But there's always a first for everything, right? And it's my job and it's a wake up call to me when I see how quickly <clears throat> Ernie went from getting a bath the day before to being on his deathbed the day after. So I am going to start doing fecals on my animals every other month to ensure that nothing happens to my animals. Now that I've let all the animals out and I see that there's fresh poop inside the stalls, I'm gonna head back to the house and go ahead and collect this poop because I need to go to the uh, post office today. So I need to get out because I need to mail t-shirts that you guys have been buying for me. Um, so thank you so much. All the proceeds from the t-shirt sales go back into my farm. So thank you so much for purchasing the t-shirts. So let's go and scoop some poop, guys. Okay, if you're eating your dinner right now, if you're eating your din dinner right now, you might want to put me on pause. Okay, I'm not going to show you scoop me scooping the poop. I'm just kidding with you. You know I'm a kidder. So go ahead and continue to eat your supper. It won't be a disgusting video, but we'll head to the vet. My good friend, LaWanda, at me, over at Adventures with Me and T, she's one of the people that I go to about my alpacas when I have alpaca questions because I trust her. She's had an alpaca farm for a long, long time. So instead of using cups, we're gonna use these plastic bags and I'm gonna get a Sharpie and write the word goat. just like this. And then I'm gonna write alpaca, alpaca. And then I'm gonna write sheep because all of them have fresh poop. And then I, this is an extra one because Dexter hasn't pooped this morning, neither has Dee Dee or Skipper. And I didn't see poop from the pigs. So it has to be fresh poop. So I'm just gonna leave one extra in case someone decides to drop a load off at the farm today. But I am gonna go out there and fill these bags with fresh poop and then go to the vet. First up is the goats. See, these cots have come in handy. So, I'll go ahead and pick this up. I do have on rubber gloves. Okay. 
So I'm not totally disgusting. Goat poop. Now on to the sheep poop. Leroy, why are you crying? You think <clears throat> they're getting something you're supposed to not get? Huh? I don't know exactly how much he needs. It's probably plenty. Now on to the alpacas. All right, last one is the alpacas. So, just to let you know, <clears throat> I don't know who pooped, but the way I'm gonna do it, because I learned from Lester and them, is if one has it, you treat them all. So parasites can go from animal to animal. So from my understanding, if one animal has a parasite, then they've all been contaminated, right? So I'm just going to put a mixture of poop in there and then take it to the vet and see what they say. I don't know how much this cost. I forgot to ask. So I'll let you know the cost in case this is something that you're wanting to do with your animals and you have a farm. From my understanding from Dr. Harney, um, it, run, it takes about 15 minutes to run it. So what I'll probably do is drop it off and then let them call me back. And then once they call me back, I'll know how to treat my animals. And I'm going to ask a lot of questions because farmers learn from farmers. You know, you don't know until, it's a learning lesson for all of us. I've never done this, okay? I've had alpacas for three years. My alpacas have never been sick. I've never done this, but it was a wake-up call. And I said, you know what? This is a wake-up call for me, watching Oki, the most precious alpaca ever, lose his life over worms, parasites. So I'm just gonna take this as a learning lesson and I hate that Oki's life had to be taken for all of these farms to learn what to do but it was a learning lesson because you just never know since the day it's a beautiful day today it's very cool outside i'm gonna see if larry wants to go with me because his nurse won't be here till tomorrow and it'll get him out of the house and for some reason he is craving taco bell every single day so I guess I'll take him to Taco Bell. I forgot to say something really important. So if you don't take the feces, the fecal, to the vet immediately, it has to go in the refrigerator. Can you imagine putting this in your refrigerator? Luckily, I have a refrigerator that's outdoors and I could stick it in there instead of putting it where food is. But I'm headed straight to the vet, so. I don't have to put it in the refrigerator. I have to admit, knowing what Ellie and Megan have been through this past week, it does make me a little nervous you know, about taking this fecal to the vet. Um, I, I, I just, I have flashbacks of the video of Megan washing um, the alpaca and everything was fine, you know, and it's just so scary. But I know I'm doing the right thing by taking it and having it tested. And once I do this regularly, I shouldn't have an issue. I should catch it in time, I would think. But it is, it is nerve wracking because your animals are your babies. 
they're your family. Losing one of them is gut-wrenching. It's scary. It's just like your child. I am here. Taking the poop in. Praying for the best. Let's go see. It's 940. They said it would take about 20, 25 minutes. So I decided that I would go ahead and run to the post office to mail your shirts. And then by the time I get back, it'll be ready. He didn't want to come. So he's not here. So I think I'll go through the drive-thru at Taco Bell and get him some lunch. No coccidia, no worms, and any of the fecal that I took to the vet. So he said that he would probably repeat that in about 60 days. So, good news.